Hello everyone, this is Ben Ryder from the Academy of Gaming Film and Animation and in this video series what we're going to be looking at is how to import various different types of assets into Unreal. So we're going to first start by looking at static meshes and these are the sorts of models that you'd be learning how to do in Engage Agfa. So simple things like swords and shields, how to UV unwrap and texture and in the first semester of uh, Engage and Stage 1 Agfa. Uh, then we're going to start looking at more complicated ones, such as the ones with skeletal meshes and animations and how you can bring those into Unreal and set up with an animation that triggers when you come near it. And then finally, uh, for the Stage 2 class, we're going to start looking at character skeletal meshes and how you can bring those into the Unreal Engine as well. So there's going to be a demonstration of how all these things work with Unreal Engine 5 for any of the small differences that are there, but also a good overview uh, for anyone interested in how we can take uh, objects that we have modeled here in Maya and rigged up um, and start getting those into the Unreal Engine and starting to work. So I've already exported out and will provide uh, these uh, already rigged and animated assets because um, we're mainly focusing on how do we get those into Unreal uh, more than how do we make those. Like I said, we cover how to model UV unwrap and texture in Engage Act for in Stage 1. Uh, we cover how to rig and animate those assets inside of the end of Stage 1 Agfa. And then in Stage 2, we start looking at how to rig and animate characters. So all those things have been covered in Maya. This is more just looking at uh, how do we get them inside of Unreal and set them up as actual uh, playable things. So once we've looked at how to import them, we'll also look at how we can set them up as uh, playable characters. For example, uh, looking at how we can have them as playable characters um, with input, how we can actually spawn in uh, those weapons to spawn in the hand, and how we can actually activate some of these assets here. So we're not just going to look at how to bring those assets in, but how to also set them up so they can be game assets and interact with the player. Um, so you'll have a character, you'll be able to interact with objects, and you'll be able to not only pick things up, but also arm them as well. So we're just going to look at those sort of ones. We may expand on this and start looking later at uh, AI inventory and things like that. But I just want to cover over the main uh, aspects that we want you to be able to know how to do by the end of your um, course time with Agfa um, and then we'll start expanding on where you want to take these assets when it comes to actually making a game. So I hope you enjoy and hope you learn something um, and I hope you enjoy Unreal Engine 5.